This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. And starting on December 14th, the rail services uh, from last year, rail services along the portion of the trip between Montreal and Gaspé have been affected by the closure of the bridge crossing the Grand Cove uh, River and the Channel Park. As a result, the 12 stops after Antithelia have been lost and they have no train services left. And they've been underfunded for the last 30 years and they've been running for over 100 years in that region. Recently in Ontario, Korea service uh, the Panso train 68 and train 69, which is Montreal, Toronto uh, train, and they go evening trains. As a result, Many cities between these two cities, uh, they they have lost their train services. Rockville, Cornwall, uh, Kingston are all impacted dramatically. In Cornwall alone, the mayor said uh, that it would have impact over a thousand passengers per year, and they are extremely concerned over these kind of impacts. For a business person, they uh, they have uh, business during the day. They want to uh, attend between. They want to uh, go to work uh, and then return in the evening. They're not able to do so because uh, the last train will probably run at around five or six o'clock, and uh, well before they can actually make it there. The Cornwall Chamber of Commerce has done a survey showing that 90% uh, of the businesses felt the cuts would have a definite uh, or possible hit in their operations. Business commuters in Kingston also expressed some concerns. So we are here calling on the conservative uh, governments to invest in rail infrastructure so that we can restore some of these services cuts. Uh, we have noticed already the rail services across Canada is minimal and more reductive uh, to make a mockery of uh, how this country was created when uh, we build the railroad across the country and we were being able to connect west to east and create Canada. Uh, my colleagues uh, will talk about the specific local impact caused by this. I'm here with my colleagues to help call attention to the federal government's neglect of rail infrastructure in this country. The UNN passenger rail service on Vancouver Island stopped in May, and the subsequent bus service ended in August. Uh, the reason for that was neglect of the rail bed. The federal government allowed the previous private operators uh, not to make the necessary repairs over time. And in fact, when Canadian Pacific Rail turned over the rail bed to the non-profit Island Corridor Foundation, they received a $263 million tax credit uh, for that donation of what had previously been public land that they'd be given on the condition they would run a service. So what we're asking for now is the federal government step up to the plate. Uh, the province pledged $7.5 million in June of the money needed to make the necessary rail bill repairs. We heard nothing from the conservative government since that time. Even more disturbing, in November, the lead cars that uh, provided the service were shipped off Vancouver Island. So now there's a serious concern in my community about the future of the rail. So what this has really done is not only taken away an important economic development tool, it has also placed additional strain on the island highway, which is already congested and increasingly unsafe. So it's time for the Conservative governments to step up to the plate, make the commitment to get the rail service running again on that. My name is Bruce Heyer. I'm the MD for Thunder Bay Superior North. Uh, Olivia Chow is correct. Um, rail is what created Canada, but rail is also what will recreate Canada. It is the transportation of the future. It's ecological. It's energy efficient. It should be cost efficient if the uh, charges by uh, CN and CP and other rail bed owners uh, were reasonable. Uh, we lost our North Shore Rail on the North Shore of Lake Superior 20 years ago by another Conservative government, uh, Brian Mulroney. It's time that this uh, Conservative government brings back via rail, coast to coast, two lines uh, in, a, in a service that's restored, uh, not reduced. Uh, 
Thanks so much to Olivia Chow for taking the lead on this important issue.